Hello and welcome to Santa Fe Nursing Labs. My name is Professor Sandra Milner and today I will be demonstrating how to administer a med via a secondary line. A secondary line is used to administer medications to patients. However, it has to be attached to a primary fluid line. Secondary lines should only be attached to maintenance IV fluids or normal saline bags that are specifically used for flushing the IV line. The advantage to administering medications via secondary line is that majority of the medication is administered to the patient. A disadvantage to administering meds via secondary line is that your primary medication or your primary fluid is going to temporarily be stopped while the secondary med is administering. Remember to always include your IV administration of fluid in your patient's daily intake. Hi, Ms. Duncan, how are you doing? You're okay, good. Well, I'm getting ready to go get your um, vancomycin, your medication. I'm just gonna check your um, IV lines and make sure I can hang it with your fluid that you have here. So before gathering my supplies to give my medication, I need to check what type of lines Ms. Duncan has. I can see here that she has um, some normal saline and I know that she has some maintenance IV fluid hanging. So I'm just double checking. This is my normal saline. My bag's not expired. I'm double checking my date on my tubing. My tubing has not expired. I can continue to use it. Let me just check your IV site. I'm just going to check your IV site and make sure there's no infiltration. And your IV looks good. Is it bothering you at all? No? Okay, wonderful. Okay. Everything looks great, Miss Duncan. Okay, so I'll be back in a little bit with your medication. When administering medications to patients, you always wanna make sure you follow the eight rights of medication administration. The first right is the right patient, right drug, right dose, right time, right route, right reason, right documentation, and right response. So next I am gonna check my MAR to um, double check the dose of my medication. And I can see that uh, Ms. Duncan needs 500 milligrams of vancomycin every six hours. And it is due in the next 10 minutes. I'm just gonna double check my drug guide, make sure my dose is accurate. Yep, and then the other information that I need to know is how quickly I'm gonna be administering the medication. Um, I do know that vancomycin, and I checked my drug guide, that it is compatible with the solution that's running, the normal saline. So we are good with compatibility. Okay. Next, I am going to pull my medication out of my drug cart. Okay. So I have my um, vancomycin, 500 milligrams, just double checking that I have the correct medication. And then I need a secondary set. Perfect. I'm gonna label my tubing and then I am all ready. I'm gonna label my secondary set um, with the date that the tubing was hung, the date that the tubing expires, and my initials. I'm also gonna label my um, medication bag, make sure it has the patient's name, date of birth, their medical record number. I wanna initial it, what date the, and time the medication was hung, and make sure that it has an expiration date. Remember to always follow your hospital policy and infection control guidelines with um, the expiration dates for both your fluids and your IV lines. Hi, Ms. Duncan, I have your medication for you. Okay. Can you confirm your name and date of birth for me? Great, and do you have any allergies? No allergies? Okay. Remember to always educate your patient on the type of medication and the side effects that they may experience. So this medication that I have for you, this is your vancomycin that you get every six hours and this is to treat that infection of your foot. Do you have any questions for me? No? Okay. And just let me know if you um, notice any sort of rash or, or flushing of your skin, okay? okay. I'm going to go ahead and put on some gloves. I'll now go ahead and prepare my tubing. Okay. 
Your secondary tubing comes with a hanger that you use to hang your primary fluid. Your primary fluid needs to be lower than your secondary bag. Next, I'm going to make sure I have the roller clamp on my secondary set closed. Okay. I'll go ahead and attach my label that has my expiration date and time on it. There is two ways to prime your tubing. You can either prime your tubing with your medication or you can go ahead and attach your tubing to your primary bag and um, use the normal saline from this primary bag to prime your secondary tubing. This is the preferred method because it makes sure that you don't waste any medication. There's the potential that you might waste your medication when you prime your secondary line with your actual medication. I need my alcohol swab so I can make sure that I scrub the port. When administering medication by a secondary route, you are going to attach your secondary tubing to the port that is above the pump. You want this pump, this channel, to control both your medication and your fluid. Remember, when you hang a secondary medication, your primary is going to temporarily be stopped. Make sure again that my tubing is clamped. Go ahead and scrub my port. 15 seconds. Once I have cleaned and scrubbed that port, I do not want to touch it. I'm going to remove the cap on my secondary tubing and go ahead and attach it to my primary tubing. So let's untangle this tubing a little bit. Okay. Next what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, retrograde prime my secondary line with the normal saline. So I'm going to hold this drip chamber lower than my primary line and I'm just going to temporarily pause my infusion so this drip chamber is lower than the normal saline and by gravity it's just going to flow into this tubing. So I'm going to open slowly my roller clamp to allow the flu fluid to flow into my secondary set. If you had a bag attached to this, either an old bag or a new bag, your new medication bag, the air would go into the bag, the air that is displaced out of the tubing. So I'm going to allow the normal saline to go in to about and fill up halfway um, for my drip chamber, about fill it halfway up. Okay. If I raise it higher, the fluid is going to stop dripping. If I lower it, the fluid is going to continue to drip in. I can go ahead and raise this secondary drip chamber up and clamp my tubing. I am now going to attach my new medication bag and I confirmed it again that it is the vancomycin. Make, make sure I scan my med and administer it. Let's go ahead and scan my medication, confirm that it is the right med. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going to attach my secondary bag. Going to maintain sterility of this um, spike. It's easiest to um, spike your pumps, I mean spike your bags when they're upside down. So now I have my secondary bag hanging or attached to my line. I can go ahead and hang my secondary bag above my primary. I will now need to set my pump. You're going to first set your primary and then you're going to set your secondary. So your primary needs to go at the same rate as your secondary. Because once your secondary medication goes in, you're going to have a whole lot of medication sitting in your primary tubing that you need to flush in at the same rate as the medication. What I'm going to go ahead and do is click Channel Select. 
I have 100 mLs in here that has my vancomycin, and I know it's going to go over one hour. So my rate is going to be 100 mLs per hour. So I want to set my primary to 100 mLs per hour, and I want to set my volume to be infused at only 30 mLs. Your primary tubing has about a 26 ml priming volume. So I need at least 30 mLs of normal saline to go ahead and flush the remaining vancomycin out of the tubing. I can then go ahead and select my secondary and I'm going to find the vancomycin. It is 500 milligrams and 100 mLs. And I know I'm going to give it over one hour or 60 minutes. I know it's 60 minutes because my drug guide tells me it is. I then go ahead and hit start. I want to make sure that I unclamp my secondary tubing and watch to make sure that the medication drips in the chamber. If your primary is dripping down here, your secondary clamp is closed. So you wait until you make sure that the secondary is dripping. Once the medication has fully infused, it's going to kick over to the normal saline. The normal saline is going to run in at the same rate, 100 mLs per hour for 30 mLs to flush the rest of the medication through. Once the flush is complete, I need to make sure that I come back and reset my normal saline for the maintenance IV fluid rate. So many nurses choose not to reset their primary infusion when hanging a secondary infusion, especially if the medication rate is similar or faster than the maintenance IV fluid. If your maintenance IV fluid is a little slower, that is okay. Um, you want to avoid pushing the rest of the medication through too quickly. So right now, I'll go ahead and show you how to set that on your pump. I can see over here that my normal saline is running at 70 miles mils per hour. I'm going to channel select. Right here at the bottom, um, I know my medication rate is going to be 100 milliliters per hour. So my rate at the moment is going for my primary at 75. So my medication is quicker and my primary is slower. I can select my secondary button right here. I can then find my medication, my vancomycin. It was 500 milligrams in 100 mLs. Let me click next. The duration is going to be 60 minutes. I can then hit start. Make sure I unclamp my medication. At the end of this 100 mLs of vancomycin going in, it is then going to kick back to my normal saline at a slightly slower rate of 75 mLs per hour, which is the maintenance IV fluid. Remember to periodically um, check on your IV solutions to make sure that they are running and infusing correctly at the correct rate. Also make sure that you periodically take a look at your patient's IV site to make sure that the IV has not infiltrated. Sometimes when going to hang a secondary medication, you already have a secondary line with an old medication bag. There are two things that might happen. You might have the same medication hanging or you might have an incompatible medication hanging. First, I'll show you what to do if you have the same medication hanging. So over here, I have vancomycin. I'm going to double check this bag, make sure this one is clamped, and I'm going to lower my bag and double check. Yep, it is vancomycin at the same dose. So all I am going to do is go ahead and switch my two bags. Remember to maintain sterility of this bike. I'm going to take off my cap here. And I'm just going to spike my new bag. Okay. I'll discard my old medication bag. Double check my line that it does not have any bubbles, so I do not need to reprime. 
and I can go ahead and hang my bag and set my pump. If your medication is incompatible with the one that you need to hang, you will need to go ahead and back prime and back flush your incompatible medication into the old bag. I'm going to go ahead and lower this. Currently it is clamped, so I'm going to hold it lower than my normal saline bag. And I am going to go ahead and fill up the drip chamber with normal saline and the old medication. And you can see that if I keep it lowered, it's going to fill up not just the chamber, but into the um, old bag as well. I'm going to clamp and I'm going to flip my bag upside down and I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this fluid out of the chamber. I can then do the process again to ensure that all of the incompatible medication is flushed out of the drip chamber and tubing. Can let it continue to fill up my empty bag. I'm going to go ahead and clamp once again just to be on the safe side empty the normal saline out of that drip chamber. Okay, and I'll just fill it up halfway. Okay. I have now cleared my secondary tubing of incompatible medication and I can go ahead and switch to my medication that I need to administer. and then discard the old medication. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for joining us. Remember to always follow your hospital policy and the latest infection control practices in regards to flushing and um, fluid and IV line expiration dates. Don't forget to check out some of our other Santa Fe nursing videos. Thank you.